Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Project Zomboid. Welcome back to the apocalypse. That's the wrong key. I want to play, uh, turn this off. Um, as was already kind of apparent in the last episode, we have a little bit of a radio situation at hand. And while I had a little cozy time during the blizzard, staying indoors, reading books, it now said something in the radio of shutdown imminent in, in 11 hours. And we need a metal pipe to repair. And the system fault is a mold drawer. So, and of course the, the air traffic radar is not available. So yeah, we could have for the helicopter day. We could, I don't know. It's, it's a big hole of uncertainty here so I'm just gonna grab some stuff here that's still in this car um, yeah give me a bonky bat on top of that seems good enough so yeah I didn't do much so far I unloaded a little bit and pulled the car inside installed the additional solar panel did someone do? Oh, I left the door open and that in a blizzard. Alright, time to head to Moldra. So yeah, I wanted to take a few days here, you know. Off the action, stay at base, chop some trees, and start building on the new on the new project on the new building. But the game wouldn't let me. Also, yeah, while we did have um, no more snow when we were driving back from Greenport, turns out an Arctic blizzard brings a little bit of snow with it. And of course, you know, winter service is kind of lacking in Kentucky at this time of the year. It's, I don't know. What am I even paying my taxes for? So anyway, let me actually just turn on the radio and then maybe we get that, that whole message again. So you also see that. Weird shutdown imminent in X hours message, which you know was weird. Now, um, the Muldra radio station, I actually not sure if we were there in this playthrough, but that's the one in the previous run in the in the research run where we spent a whole lot of time trying to get there. Did I take the... Am I, am I actually on the right path here? I feel like I took the wrong turn. Hang on. Uh, I am... Um, no, that's... that's I'm next to the... Yeah, I mean, we need to go this way. I'm just confused by seeing so many zombies here. Remember when I had cleared the road all the way to Orchidwood? Because I certainly remember that being a thing. Yeah, migration is a little bit of a beast. Snack some chips while we're on the road here. Alright, automated broadcast system. Power grid status unavailable. Ah, spoiler alert, it's down. Satellite unreachable for weather forecast. Wonderful. Air traffic radar system error. Broadcast system integrity. Factory network, diesel unit failure. Shut down in 9 hours. I'm not sure what that means. 
Muldraw requires crew dispatch. Yeah, we're on the way. Diesel unit, replace the fuel line. That's why we have the, the, the pipes. I'm almost curious to see... Uh, what, what would happen if I didn't replace it within the next nine hours and the system would shut down? Would it be then just be like, yep, game over, no more radio for you? Still, every time we pass this, this we come past this place. I'm looking at that Spiffo statue, and I'm like, hmm, won't bet me a bit of a catch here. Yeah. Oh boy! Driving through Lake Ivy is getting worse with every time. Well, I'm also not not really driving in the most defensive way. Uh, turn this off, by the way. And part of me is wondering if we want to take a little, little different route on the way back. I always forget that we have this map also on this uh, on the server. I almost said um, in the playthrough, there's like a little, a tiny, tiny military base down here. Okay, you know, I'm I'm usually not somebody who gets easily distracted. I just wanna I just wanna have a quick look. Just wanna have a quick look. If there's any other other interesting cars here in the parking lot? Certainly doesn't look that way. Anyway. Moving on. That certainly felt... Um, like that car crash just spawned in, so I don't think we've been in, in at the Moldor dispatch yet. What have we? I know I know we've been to the um the Zulu one, we've been to the did we did we go to the Rosewood one? Ah, oh, no, I'm not, not even sure anymore. Oh, the fact that the cars have their hoods popped tells me, yeah, we've been here. Okay. Anyway. And that's how you repair a radio station. Just hammer a metal pipe. Uh, excuse me, I want to close this door. Never mind, let's just leave it open. Close that one. Okay. Well, that was just an easy task. Not a single zombie, um, except for those on the path, uh, had to be dispatched. Uh, let's have a quick look. So we're here. 
So we're we're on the road. We're, we're in the car, and a, a criminal always visits the places of his previous crime. So we're gonna make a quick, just a scouting tour, right? We're not we're not there to to loot anything because you know if I start looting, then I can't ever return. But having a look should be allowed, right? So we're gonna do a quick drive by um, at the warehouses south of here. Just see what's up there. And that way then we can use the, the highway to drive back to Rosewood and head north from there and avoid going through like Ivy again and for all the zombies that are there. Yeah, that's my turn. Somewhere over here would have been our previous base. If I hadn't get gotten eviscerated by a bunch of zombies because I um, drove around in a car without fuel, honking like 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 a madman. Uh, yeah, I intended to do that. Ow! I, I need I need to do some repairs on this car anyway. There's a police power wagon, that's always nice to see. What else we got here? A trailer. military trailer that belongs to the Humvee. Oh, the fancy... Fancy car that looks like it's been welded together out of multiple parts, yeah? I gotta say, that might have not been worth the trip. Second time we, if we lose our current one. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, uh, at least we've been here now. By the way, I was also thinking one more thing um, in regards to Greenport, which we just left. I might, at some point, make a big exception to all the rules, drive back to uh, Akron, get that trailer with the boat in the back, drive that to Greenport and put the boat on the water. Because I've, I'm using that mod with the boats and I've never driven a boat in this game. And just, you know, driving along the river. Seems like a fun and different approach to the game. And I don't know. Shipping up to, to West Point. Luring all the zombies to the coast and then shooting them from the boat. Something like that, at least. Might be an interesting change of pace. Alright, so I think this is just going to be me driving back home to base and, and potentially failing to dodge some zombies. Um, so I'm going to gonna put another cut in here and um, get back to you. 
with some updates from the base building and stuff because um, well the radio has been fixed rather uneventful but at least you got to hear to me rambling um, about various things for 15 minutes that's worth something right maybe i don't know all right um let's put a quick cut here all right it's a few days later and we've just had the helicopter yesterday and um, i decided after the helicopter nice time to do a little um perimeter sweep so i went around checked the wall not a single zombie to be so, uh, seen and then i decided you know what let's do a full perimeter sweep and i you know ran around the riverside here the river bed um and there were a couple stragglers on the other side that just shot and then now i'm coming here to the fork of the river the north of the base And we got a little bit of a developing situation here. I'm not even sure I have enough ammo in my pistol to make it full dent here. Yeah, you know, that's. I, decided, I, I took the helicopter in the base because I thought at this point it's, it's far enough that nobody should, should bother. I mean, this is this is shooting sh fish in a barrel. Uh, so it's a small barrel, and there are a lot of fish in it. Should go back to base and bring a rifle. Better range, more damage. You know, actually, that's an opportunity to, to actually have some use from the hunting rifles. Uh, I'm just going to hope. I'm not going to run this on this part of the water so they don't follow me on the other side of the river. I'm, I'm going to go back to base, grab one of the rifles and come back out here. Um, Hang on. Also, on a separate note, and uh, this is basically the the foundation for the new building. I want to do some, um, like an arcade, the arcade machines, etc. Then some display area for like collectibles. And I kind of want to do a, a bowling alley in the middle. And maybe a cinema on the top floor. Long term plans, yeah, long term plans. Um, also, I'm not sure if I showed it in, uh, in the, the last part. Brought this the car inside. I haven't started working on it yet. Also, I really hate how there's snow under the stairs. That's kind of kind of always weird. You find a way to to get rid of that. Anyway, um, so I think we want to use either that carbine or some sort of hunting rifle those those rifles that I never take with me because I don't want to use the um, the the good rifles right the battle rifle or the FAL here the uh, R700 two to three rounds yeah there's no use for those rounds any in other any other way Uh, let's wrap a bunch of two to freeze then. Uh, it used to be order here. I guess the other question is any attachments? I can probably. iPad and a stock and any time scope and a sling. Uh, 
Only I wasn't blind. Okay, upgrade like that. Oh, yeah. Attach sling. I, I'm not sure why it's not in the upgrade menu with the sling. That always seems so, so weird. Oh, and you actually see the bipod on the rifle? What's so, um, A little beach area here. Don't think I showed that one off. So on the way back, I'm actually going this way. Nothing in the traps. One trap broken. Helicopter scared the rabbits away. Now, the other thing is, is it a problem having a bunch of zombies up there? And obviously, like, at the moment, it's not. But I would assume with every other helicopter event, they will creep a little bit closer along the river. And if those 200 zombies or whatever there is decide they want a snack, then we have a problem. So I'd rather tackle it now. Then wait until later. Because, I mean, we've been alive for more than six months. Like, even if it takes them two months to come around the river, that's a realistic time frame. Not something you usually worry about in, in, in Zomboid, but... It does have a satisfying sound, that rifle. And it can hit two zombies that are standing behind each other. Range seems good. I love those double, double kills. Like a, like a shotgun with less range and fewer targets. So not like a shotgun at all. Biggest advantage is I can't loot those guys, so I'm not going to lose time on that. the range here. Okay, you're not reloading. I guess I don't have any loose ammo anymore. Uh, ooh, 40 shots a box. Just want to test out what the actual range is once I get clear out these here. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're dropping in the back.
I'm not even sure what I'm shooting at there. Because it was clearly not that guy. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep some group shooting a little bit more here. Not really the challenging part of the game, but man, it's fun. I'm enjoying it more than I, I like to admit. So I feel like I'm I'm shooting enemies beyond visual range here. Somebody's falling over. So definitely not a weapon to use in high uh, intensity situations because five shots, manual reload, no magazines. But it does pack a punch and it seems really accurate. That's that's one way to start clearing out a big bear lake. Alright, there's a bunch more. Let me just uh, put another quick cut in here while I keep keep shooting zombies because um, I'm not sure how. How exciting it is to just see me line up shots. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back after the massacre. Right, um, yeah, so another roughly 50 kills later and we are at the very tip of the river fork here. And it seems to be quiet. So I think we're going to call this little base update episode here. Um, I'll probably continue to do some stuff in the base. I actually still need to unload all the stuff from the previous trip. Um, do a little base organization and, and work a little bit more on that new building. Also plan um, to basically move, move the car parking to the area before the new building, in front of the new building. So it's like between that and the garage. So yeah, little, little changes here and there. The thing is, um, any floor work is kind of really difficult with the snow there. So we'll have to see. Oh, I want one more. So yeah, um, a day of just sniping zombies, really. First thing I did after getting up was checking the perimeter. I haven't actually eaten at all. Oh, I had a smoke. So I'll take care of myself, yeah? Uh, and you take care. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.